All right, we're back, guys. Welcome back. When I comprehended her meaning, I lost my composure. I couldn't tell her if she was joking. I couldn't tell if she was joking or being serious. For the moment, I began to look away from her, but before I could, she. <laughs> We may cast a brief glance at our surroundings, then pass, press down my shoulders. Perplexed, I obeyed her. Hugging my knees, I landed up against the shelf of CDs. As I puzzled over her intentions, Remy crouched in front of me. Whoa! Whoa! So she wanted me to sit directly on the floor? Floor? I didn't want to act that much like a delinquent, but Rimi grasped my calves and forced my knees to unbend. Holy shit. I couldn't stop myself from sliding down, like thrown in front of me. Eh. Mother of God! Close your eyes, children! Suddenly, Rimi straddled my legs. Rimi laid her pointed finger, pointer finger, woohoo, hey -o, against my lips. She was telling me to keep quiet. Hmm, kinky. But, but, doing this kind of thing in the middle of a store. Rimi looked at, down at me bashfully, as though she read my mind. What the fuck is going on here? So, what about it? <laughs> Rimi's face became even closer to mine. Her breath tickled my cheek. A hot sigh. I was too captivated to look away from Rimi's ardent eyes. Her gaze seemed to draw me in. <laughs> Rimi looked directly back at me. Still looking, she began moving her hands alone, and doing the buttons on my blazer one by one. <laughs> Rimi reached for my necktie without answering, pulling me toward her as she loosened it. She moved down to undo my shirt buttons as well. <laughs> you pussy. <laughs> <coughs> her slim hands, belying her words, slipped past my bare chest and into my shirt. A cool hand slid leisurely across my skin. God damn it. <laughs> a bewitching smile. I felt a pang on my chest at the sight of her expression. She was normally so bright and cheerful and gave off a little in the way of <laughs> oh snap and gave off little in the way of a sexual atmosphere <laughs> yeah no shit otherwise I'd be dead you'll be dead ah <laughs> 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 oh, crap I blurred out exactly what I was thinking that alone was enough to unsettle me. It means you're amazingly hot. The tips of Remy's fingers caressed the sides of my neck, crawling over my skin. It tickled, and it felt amazing. I don't know which kind of skin she's touching right now. What the? Guided by instinct, I nodded vigorously. I doubted my ears. Do it? Here? Did that mean? Yeah, and what? Oh my god. Oh, you couldn't give this guy pussy. Duh. 
My god. Oh. Oops. I abruptly came back to myself. Rimi was waving her hand in front of my face. Eyebrows knitted in wonderment. I wasn't sitting on the floor, and she wasn't straddling my legs. We were simply standing normally, facing one another. <laughs> I looked away from Rimi, turned my back on her, and took deep breaths. <sighs> I'd had an error delusion. I was indeed the lowest of the low. I became quite disgusted with myself. No, no, it was also Rimi's fault for t talking about repaying me. Any male would start imagining stuff if he heard such a suggestive sexy line. That is true. That is true, women. Come to think of it, how did she intend to repay me, after all? <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> じゃあ、もう一回言うけど。私のお気に入りCDを貸すっていうのでって打ってくれないかな。なあ、シット。はねえねえ、いいでしょお願いします。この通り。ああ。Well, there's reality for you. Speaking of which, why not fantasize about things that ending up with with uh Speaking of which, why had I fantasized about things ending up that way with Remy anyway? I wasn't supposed to be interested in 3D girls. When I nodded right away in answer to Remy's suggestion, she struck a joyful victory pose. It was so funny looking that I found myself laughing, despite the danger of my situation. Very good. Somehow, we made it back to my base without any incident. It would all thanks to Remy, of course. I owed her one. But I was a tad put off by how she instantly rejected my request to wait outside while I tidied up my room a little. <laughs> Kitanai. That's one of the words in Japanese that makes me laugh. Kitane. Like, ah, oh, that's fucking disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of pals? <laughs> ah, good question. Wait, what? Rumi was absent from my memory, and so I didn't really know. Once in a while, I was startled by Rim Rimi's familiarity toward me. It wasn't all at all unpleasant, but there were different... Uh, definite discre discrepancies, God damn it! in the sense of distance we felt between each other. For that matter, I wondered if Remy was serious about it being okay not to clean up my room. Even though convenient store lunch boxes I'd finished eating were scattered on the floor, along with utensils, and Iroge boxes with sensationalistic illustrations on them were piled up on the bed, Either Rimi wasn't a sensitive sort, or she didn't perceive me to be any kind of threat. Both prospects left me feeling kind of ambiguous. Appearing not to notice any of my distress, Rimi sat on the sofa and earnestly looked down at the lyrics booklet that had been included with the Phantasm CD. I dropped heavily into my computer chair. I made attention leave, leave my body. My nerves had worn thin from cowering in fear the whole day. But maybe the reason I didn't feel at all ex that all that exhausted was because Rimi was here with me. Sate, Rimi closed the lyrics booklet, stretched grandly, and sent a smile my way. <sighs> what to do? She asked. What was I supposed to do? God damn it! What am I supposed to do? Ah, oh. Rumi hadn't come here to hang out with in the first place. Her, her original aim had been to borrow my CD. 
if she were going to do me a f me the favor of staying here with me, how would should I respond? Did I even have to do anything to begin with? If this were an arrow game, we'd jump right into an etchy scene, but... Crappity crap. I better not think about that sort of shit right now. Even under the best circumstances, I would still feel very strained being alone in my room with a treaty pig disgusting. If I let my if I let my imagination run away with me unnecessarily, I'd become overly conscious of her and might do something weird to give myself away. <coughs> Silence. Infidels. Remy gazed vaguely at the manga volume scattered on the floor and the arrow gaze stacked on the bed. So awkward. I had the sense that I ought to start a conversation, but I couldn't think of any potential topics except games or anime. I didn't think she would know much about them. Anyway, she said she would be there for me, so maybe she would spare me and talk. start talking first. I'd be in trouble if she expected me to take the con conversational lead. I know that problem. I didn't know how to handle 3D Pig Disgusting, after all. I was grateful for her, to her for staying with me, but I wouldn't be able to hold up under the pressure of this silence. The dimness of my room was also a part of the issue, and gave me the hallucination that some that there was something lewd in the air between us. Unable to keep still, I turned my face to the PC. Nerdish sexual tension. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh man, I had that problem once in a while too. When there would be a girl in my game room here, full of fucking games and random shit and posters with like half naked girls off like this anime, and then this girl comes in your room and you're like, oh hi. Don't pay attention to the posters. And you, you're just going through your mind. I should have not said that. She might have never noticed them. That's. Oh man, I remember that fucking time when I had to go to school and this girl came to pick me up <laughs> because we had to go together and she was like my worst enemy at the time. Oh, God damn. It was so frustrating. And she comes into my room. My mom's like, hey, there's a, there's a friend of yours. And I'm like, oh God, what the fuck? She comes into my room and she just looks around and she says nothing. Like, she just says nothing and says... Okay, let's, let's go. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and I felt myself die right there. <laughs> yeah. I thought of it earlier at school. Something that might be a hint about how to come into possession of a D-sword. That music... Is it possible to change your imagined visions into actual images? Using the things Senna had told me about VR technology and how humans are electrical devices as a springboard, I began probing into the matter. Rumi stood up and approached me. Uh, should I explain? But how best to explain it to her? What a hassle. <laughs> <laughs> when I did react, Rumi started poking me in the back with her finger. I certainly couldn't ignore her, could I? <laughs> As I entered search keywords into my browser, I spoke without looking over at Rumi. In fact, it seemed more like I was addressing Saraton. Hey! Omnipotent, huh? Well, that might very well be the case. Delusions were a world where even the most unrealistic things became possible. They became reality, it would mean making the unreal into something real. Uh, 
I sense Dreamy letting out an ex exasperated sigh behind me. In answer, I opened the aforementioned patent image I received from Shiho. Leaning forward, Mimi brought her face nearer to the monitor. She ended up peering into it from very close beside me. <laughs> so close. She was so near me, I could see the reflection of the monitor sparkling in her eyes. It was starting to get flurried again. I was starting to get flurried again. Apparently, it had drawn her interest. Doing my best not to think about how close she was, I focused on looking back and forth between the monitor and Saraton. ビデオカメラみたいな絵と映像機器を撮って通すことでそこに映る景色が見えるようになるんだ。これ豆知識な。ビデオカメラか目の代わりっていうこと？そう。VR技術って言うんだよ。へえ。もし本当だったらすごい
これ他人の思考を盗撮する技術だ思考を盗撮 In short, it meant you could use special machinery to spy on the sounds and images people thought of in their heads. On top of that, it said the neural pulse monitoring could be performed via satellite. That would make it possible to film the thoughts of everyone on the planet. So it had said when I looked up patents online. This was in fiction. With enough money and te technological power to construct the system, it could be made into reality at any time. But that is where we will stop for today. Because I need to record more Pokemon. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.